the last series for BPD students for the head and neck portion. Head and neck portion is quite easy compared to others except for the neuroanatomy. In the osteology app, nothing else except for the two marks question you can expect here. The structures passing through the foramen, it's nothing else. Don't go anything else for this. And uh, of course, sometimes uh, the atlas and axis as osteology may come for you for five marks. That's it. And here in the second chapter, you don't have a second chapter. You have the next chapter that is the, you have the uh, side of the neck in which posterior triangle is very important in, as, as usual, the deep cervical fascias and the coverings of it, sternocleidomastoid mastoid, very important. People just wearing muscles, please don't even ask or uh, anything like that. You have to read this thing. In the back of the neck suboccipital muscles, including the triangle may come, I'm not that much concentrating, and the, uh, you know, the uh, arachnoid matter, pia and the uh, dura matter, this is for five mark question, it's going to come for you, it's important. Here, in the sixth chapter, please, by heart, in detail, cavernous sinus for ten marks, hypophysis for five, trigeminal ganglion for five, and the... Um, uh, next chapter, the seventh chapter, is extraocular muscles. In this 10 marks, extraocular muscles, maybe ciliary ganglion, that's it. Don't read any other things in this uh, reading part of it because you have neuroanatomy. Anterior triangle of the neck, everything. Suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles. The submental digastic is for 5 or 10, mostly 5 marks. And carotid is for 10 marks. With carotid as not us, so they can ask you the common carotid and external and the internal carotid arteries for five marks. Parotid region, full five mark question will come for you in that region. Then you can skip to the 12th chapter here where you people are going as per the syllabus of the uh, physiotherapy. You have only the thyroid gland, parathyroid and including the uh, thymus for five marks. Then, uh, uh, as I've told you, the facial now is the only question more than 14 times asked for uh, physiotherapy students, like uh, name the cranial nerves in order, describe in detail the uh, extracranial cores and the branches of facial nerve. Just have a look about the glossopharyngeal vagus, hypoglossal, these are also may come for 5 marks. Cervical plexus concentrate, very important for 5 marks. And um, steroid apparatus, you know, this is a 5 mark question. Here, the joints of the neck, as usual, PPT students, joints of the neck. Here, one thing which is not given, please note, one thing which is not given in the syllabus, but a very important is TMJ. You'll study that in biomechanics. TMJ is a 10 mark question. Muscles of mastication is a 10 mark question. Please do read that in the temporal infratemporal fossa. And then also, you have something here called as the... Um, Nose and paranasal ear sinus, the pharynx for 10 marks, lateral wall for 10 marks, paranasal for 5 marks, larynx again is for 10 marks, tongue is for 10 marks, otherwise the muscles of tongue, papillae of tongue for 5 5 each, middle ear only in this for you, middle ear, read middle ear, the only thing syllabus gives is only middle ear, contents of middle ear, not interested, boundaries of middle ear, not interested, and the um, entire parts of the um, middle ear and a note on internal ear. Next, the eyeball as such, I've just, just scratched, sorry. This eyeball is for 10 marks question or they may ask you different coats, the serous coat, the vascular middle coat or the inner coat. If not, iris maybe for 5 marks, lens maybe for 5 marks, which is body, the retina may become for 5 marks. That's all about this uh, hurry, hurry up type of uh, head and neck portions. But the one I want you to concentrate is on the brain. You have PT neuro. So, here, CSF is for 5 marks. Very important. The meninges is for 5 marks. If they don't ask, they may ask this dura, arachnoid, pia, all for 2-2 two, two marks. Spinal cord, that's, uh, sorry, the CSF is for 5 marks as a short question. Spinal cord, read only for 10 marks. That's it. If they don't ask for 10 marks, they may ask you the question. The cut section of spinal cord for 5 marks. The tracks, you know, ascending, where you can add your physiology notes. Okay, here, all are 5 marks in the brain stem. Medulla for five, pons for five, midbrain for five. Or they may ask you, describe the uh, entire uh, parts of the CNS, just add a note on uh, pons for 10 marks. The question may come dual. In the nuclei, I'll come to this chapter later on. The cerebellum is for five marks. It's a very important for question generally for five marks, but sometimes again, they may confuse and ask for 10 marks. The worth of answering is only for five marks in cerebellum. The fourth ventricle is a classical question for 10 marks or it may come for 5 marks. It's very easy to write for a 10 marks for 5 marks. 
cerebrum 10 marks, classical thalamus for 5 marks, the hypothalamus for 5 marks, the basal nuclei for 10 marks, corpus striatum for 5 marks, white matter of cerebrum for 5 marks, the nuclei, internal capsule for 10 marks, corpus callosum for 5 marks. And uh, this, is, this is a very important chapter, the cerebrum chapter. Please concentrate on, the, on, on this one. You can ask the question here. Describe the superior lateral surface of cerebrum when you need to write the sulca and the gyri for 10 marks. Third and the lateral ventricle, very easy. It's a five, five marks questions. And um, the blood supply of the brain, the circle of Willis for five marks. And also the blood supply of spinal cord, the veins of the cerebrum for five marks. These are the questions for uh, this particular neuroanatomy. Neuron for five marks may come. Any cranial nerves. List the cranial nerves in order for two marks. Any of these questions. Please concentrate. If I am reading the head and neck chapter, I'll first start with the neuroanatomy. Then I'll go for the triangles of neck. Then I'll go for the next respective TMJ. The important uh, questions there about the parotid gland and the uh, larynx, tongue, pharynx and the lateral wall of nose. I hope you have tried to make a fast video. Please concentrate on all the three videos. Make your own questions. Read everything. You are writing exam, not I remember that. So this is the first read the questions what I have given. Then you are on God's good humor. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Lots of heavy work goes on this. I'm suffering from actually a pain here, but I'm doing this work. And uh, this is for help for students. Bye-bye. Take care.